There is a witch in every fairy tale tradition, and Russia is no exception. Baba Yaga is the witch-like figure in Russian mythology, who keeps characters out of unfamiliar woods, and her depiction is way different from those nameless black-clad pointy hat ladies standing over bright green bubbling cauldrons. She is a terrifying witch from Slavic mythology, who is rumored to kidnap, roast, and devour young children in the Eastern European woods. And that is a story you'd look forward to, wouldn't you? So let's get into the depth of this witch and know more about her. There are different versions of her name's origin. Baba was a term used in Old Russian to refer to a witch or fortune teller. Another name for midwives was Baba. Today, the term is typically used to describe a grandmother. Yaga has more enigmatic beginnings. According to some, it refers to a witch or evil woman. Some people also compare it to the word for snake. Baba Yaga is a presumed elderly spinster who is single. Some Russian peasants, however, observed her living with her daughter Marinka. Some claim that Baba Yaga is the devil's grandmother, indicating that she had offspring. While the characteristics of Baba Yaga's appearance vary depending on the story, she is often pictured as an elderly, bony lady dressed in shabby attire. She is wrinkled, has crooked teeth, and arches her back. Instead of using broom-like witches in Western Europe, she pushes herself through the woodland while leaving total pestle marks in her wake. According to some myths, she is hideously ugly. She is frail, and when she lies down to sleep, her nose touches the ceiling. Ancient Origins claims that some refer to her as the bony one. Others assert that she has iron teeth. She is occasionally shown as a group of three evil sisters. Baba Yaga lived in the forest, according to traditions that date back to at least the middle of the 18th century. Her house is perched on chicken legs in the deepest recess of the woods. A rooster's head was said to pierce through the roof, and the witch had a fence made of human bones around her cottage to keep out intruders. Humans occasionally visited Baba Yaga's hut in search of shelter, a special object or person, or guidance. When they felt lost and abandoned, she used to magically discover them. At this point, Baba Yaga may be devious and hungry, perhaps attempting to force the individual into her oven as food. Alternately, she might be manipulative and demanding, forcing the poor soul to work. She also used to act as a guardian, giving over all the answers and an enchanted object to boot. There is a famous Russian folktale that depicts an evil stepmother who banishes her stepchildren. The brother and sister come across an odd cottage with chicken legs as they explore the woods. They meet a grandmother when they enter the hut. According to the folktale, the grandmother said, If you grant all my desires, I'll reward you. If not, I'll devour you. The witch enjoyed roasting and eating her victims at her home, where she keeps a massive oven, just like many other famous witches. It's interesting to note that Baba Yaga is not wholly evil. Despite her propensity for cannibalism and death, she respects heroes who can outsmart her and is willing to aid them. Without a doubt, Baba Yaga is a terrifying character from Slavic mythology, but she occasionally played the role of a fairy godmother too, although one with a touch of evil. Sometimes, she was also compared to Mother Nature, a strong force that might appear arbitrary and harsh. You'll be more terrifying to know that there are similarities between Baba Yaga and an early Slavic deity of death. Some believe that her positive representation in some stories, when she helped young guests, is evidence of some redeeming qualities. We can see this in the folktale Vasilisa the Beautiful, where Baba Yaga is shown in an unusual way who is plotting to harm a young visitor at first, but then assists her in the end. According to this myth, the evil stepmother Vasilisa asked her to go into the woods to obtain fuel for the family. Vasilisa met Baba Yaga in the forest, who promised to assist her at the right price. The lovely girl is required to do tasks that at first glance appear unachievable, such as sorting out all the black parts from a large bag of millet seeds in a single evening. She could be killed if she fails. Vasilisa completed the tasks with the help of a magic doll despite the threat of being roasted and eaten by the witch. So, she was able to escape with a fire, which happened to appear as a burning skull hanging from Baba Yaga's fence. Despite the fact that in this specific tale, Baba Yaga is not exactly portrayed as a kind grandma, Vasilisa ultimately gets benefited from Baba Yaga's gift in the long run. The evil stepmother is killed when Vasilisa's home is destroyed by the fiery skull. Vasilisa also gets her happily ever after. Never again did Baba Yaga or her stepmother disturb her after she married her Tsar's son and settled into a palace. After she married the Tsar's son and settled into a palace. If we dig even deeper, we discover that she is not simply a fairy tale ogre, but a powerful wielder of magic, an ancient and respected crone goddess who embodies the wisdom and the authority that can blossom in old age. If you've ever explored witchcraft, you've probably heard of the triple goddess, the idea that there are three goddesses in one who stands in for the three stages of a woman's life, the maiden, the mother, and the crone. The little girl represents youth, freedom, curiosity, and play. 
The mother is a representation of creativity, empowerment, and adulthood. The crone? Well, she is the wise elder, the teacher, the initiator, and the one who knows. However, it is difficult to note that for decades, and even now, Baba Yaga has stood in many ways for the complete opposite of what society views as an ideal woman. She used to eat children rather than give birth to and nurture them. She neither married anyone nor prioritized the wants of others over her own. Instead, the grandmother witch was deeply selfish to the point of being evil. Everything that society expected of Baba Yaga, she opposed. She even rejected society by relocating to a remote area in the woods. The Slavic witch serves as a threat and reminder for those who leave the beaten path. Wander too far into the woods and Baba Yaga will eat you. Throughout the ages, this fabled witch has prevented innumerable kids from wandering too far from their homes, literally and symbolically. Unsurprisingly, it was also expected of young girls who heard the tale of Baba Yaga that they would not in any way grow up to be like the witch. Instead of disliking society's standards, they were told to adhere to them. Baba Yaga defied almost all social conventions, which is precisely why she appeals to so many people as a villain and a mysterious fairy godmother. However, she also served as a constant warning for people to look out for themselves in a dangerous world and to stay close to home. And that was it for Baba Yaga. So let us know in the comments if you want to meet her and spend some time outdoors at night. If you start to develop a bond with her, she might present you with challenges that would seem impossible. But remember, she would do this to help you realize your potential rather than to hurt you.